Okay, fam. <laughs> Here's how I fillet my smaller brim. Get my knife sharp. Get your brim here. Scale. Go ahead and scale them. You don't have to gut them. You go ahead and scale them. And I usually start out cutting his head off that way. And go underneath the scale. And then thin, cut it that way. Okay. Scar that. Take your knife, I mean your scissors. Cut it there. Get rid of that. Okay, and I like to, you can gut them if you want to, but I like to uh, start out. Ride that bone, okay? Now you get down, you feel that rib cage, okay? Then you take your knife, and I use a four inch fillet knife. And you can kind of insert it in there, you can feel that rib cage. Go ahead and take it all the way out, okay? And then come back a little bit, and you get to the rib cage. Now you see that up meat? Just ride the rib. Carefully ride the rib. Don't cut yourself. Just ride along the rib, rib cage, and do the same thing on the other side. Okay, have you see that fillet there? It's a nice brim fillet, no bones or nothing in it. Okay, always have your little water, ice to rinse it off with. And think of it like you're doing shrimp. Now these are small, you know, four or five inches long, but they're very good. And they're like little, um, I call them fish bites. Good, good little um, bites, you know, for your snacks. You can you can grill them, put them on a shish kebab, or fry them. I don't think it'll take more than 30 seconds or maybe not even a minute to uh, fry them. So, kind of ride along there. Right along there, right along that rib. Okay. And then, see all you have? You don't have to even worry about gutting them. Just throw that away. And, uh, it. And then there you have it. A nice, uh, brim fillet. Alright. Alright, y'all. Now, here's the finished product. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. I got, I got um, ten fillets there. That's about five. That's five fish. Small brim. Now there's, I left, I left the skin on. Just showing you both sides of it. They're nice and crispy when you fry them. Or you can use them for gumbos or whatever you like um, and everything. You could, you could also um, use them for ceviche. You know, y'all know how to do ceviche and everything, but, and they go good if you fry them. It goes good with my hot sauce here. All these famous hot sauce here. Yep, yep. So these comes out, this hot sauce I make from peppers out of my garden. But anyway, these are small brim that you uh, don't want to throw back, and they make nice fillets. That should, this should feed one person. It's about, a, like I said, it's about a quarter of a pound, about a four, about four ounces, something, something like that. So that should be enough to feed one person. And it's just five of the little small brim. So the ones you're thinking about throwing back, just uh, keep them. They're about four inches long, the small ones. Some of you guys use them for cup bait, but I use it to eat. <laughs> All right, especially when it gets cold in the wintertime and you wish you had them. <laughs> All right, love you guys. All right, fam. <clears throat> now that I've got the... Um, the little brims filleted and everything. I'm going to do what they call a poor man scampi. All right. I got all my ingredients here. Got my lemons. I got my pats of butter here. And I got my, check it out. I got my grill ready uh, and everything. It's not going to be that. I'm going to do stir for and turf tonight. I got steaks I got to go in there. But I'm just building the fire so I can close the lid and let these cook first for a few minutes. So I got my chives. And I got my secret season, check it out. And uh, I got, well, whatever that is. But I got my sherry wine that's going to go in it. And the cocktail sauce, I'm not going to put that on now, but I'll use it, you know, after when, you know, to dip it when we get ready for for dinner. But uh, it's what I call a pole man scamping. All right, I'm going to go ahead and <clears throat> season up 
put my seasoning on my uh, filet rim. I want to turn them over. I don't feel like turning them over. Okay, I'm putting my little seasoning on them. Okay. And then I'm going <clears> to <throat> lay my butter randomly on it. Okay. I'm going to put my lemons. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, I'm going to put my chives on it. And, and like I said, my seasoning already got the garlic in it. Okay. Okay, now I'll, <clears throat> I'll pour the wine. Drizzle, 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 drizzle. Drizzle the wine on it. Now these are brim I caught the other day. All right. Now I got it wrapped in the packet, in the pocket, and it's ready for the grill. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the grill. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna put it directly over the fire. I'm gonna put it on the side, okay? Because there's enough heat in there and it doesn't take very long for it to cook. So I don't want it hitting direct. Well, here, <laughs> be a daredevil. I put it on there for a second, let you cats see. But um, I'm not really going to leave it there because I w really want it to kind of cook in its own, you know, cook in its own juices and stuff like that. And it won't take very long. I'm going to put it, I'm going to scoot it over into indirect heat so they can kind of basically um, cook inside the foil so it'll be tender. And I'll come in back and I'll put my steaks on. Surf and turf. Ooh, it's hot. All right, I'm closing the lid now. See, and I'm about, it's at 200, but it's going to shoot back up here shortly. All right. <clears throat>